Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. And now we're back to the balcony situation here, an apartment dweller, or as they call it over in the UK, a flat. Jan Welter, and I'm obviously giving that an English pronunciation, ON1JV from Belgium. He's gotten back into ham radio. Okay, and he's trying to get his CW license to go along with his regular license. I have only a balcony with the floor of the balcony about seven and a half feet from the ground. I have nothing above it, so I have clear space to go up. I want to set up a fan dipole with some MFJ ham sticks, keeping the thing portable too. I was thinking about starting with a pair of 20 meter and a pair of 40 meter ham sticks to start with and put them underneath each other using two MFJ347 mounting brackets. We need to talk a little bit about the MFJ bracket that you got MFJ347. It is still for sale by MFJ but recall that uh, MFJ is just selling existing stock right now as they gradually wrap up their business. They are available at a number of retailers you can go to and get these things. Also, apparently MFJ itself still has stock. Now what he's talking about is taking two of these. This is an MFJ 1620T for 20 meters. It's an HF Mobile ham tenna. It'll go up to 250 watts, okay? And it's composed of two parts. First is the, the base. This end right here has threads that will go into that base that you talk about. Here is the antenna itself. And then right here you can see where this gentle twisting becomes a coil. This is the loading coil. And then you go up right here. And this feeds into here like this. Just turn it in. And then there's a little Allen wrench that is shipped with the unit to where you can tune this. You tune this by putting this in or out to get to the right place. You shouldn't have to push it much. One thing to note, here is the loading coil. You do not ever want this thing, which goes down in the middle here, to get in here with this loading coil because that will cause an issue. So this is what MFJ calls a ham tenna. This one's for 20 meters. They're all the same size. So yes, you can do as you suggest. Would it work as a fan dipole? Yeah, I think so. I think it would. Now you'd have to tune them. You may find that tuning one affects the tuning on the other. And you want to keep the whips on both sides of the dipole the same length. It's easy to bring one end in. You're not going to get as good a match if you do that. Now I will warn you that these are loaded dipoles so that the part of the band that is covered depends on how you tune it. It may not cover all of 40 meters. It may not cover all of 20 meters. I put this in a more what they call an octopus array where I had them in a circle. Uh, using a different mount. There's a company called Procom on Amazon where you can pick these uh, mounts up quite inexpensively. He's talking about putting one of the mounts up, another below. This fits around a pipe, okay? And however you want to uh, fix that pipe, you could most easily probably put something like a, a cinder block down at the bottom, put the base of the thing in it, fill it with dirt, and then tie off from the top of it to different parts of the balcony to keep it from falling over or going haywire in the wind. Okay, now you can change these ham sticks out at any point if say, for example, there's some sort of a contest you're working like sweepstakes and you wanna get every last state possible so you need 80 meters, you can actually put those in too. Now, this is a balanced antenna. If you want, you can put in a ballon 
The usual ballon for something like this is just coil up some coax, about nine inches in diameter, about eight or nine turns. And that will act as a nice choke to keep the common mode currents from flowing down the outside of the coax. Or you can try it without it, but I would be prepared to have RF in the shack if you don't uh, do something like that. Now, will that work? He says, I know there are octopus mounts available. I can't find one anymore. MFJ stopped making theirs and Chameleon stopped making theirs. Okay, they had a very good one, but it's not on their website anymore. Okay, so there you go. Now, I'd put the antennas about that far apart on the mast going up. If you find that it's very difficult to tune, with two antennas, then just put one antenna up at a time. Okay, put the 40 combination or the 20 or the 10 or the 80 or whatever. If you want to do CW, you can do 30. I mean, they're, they're just all different kinds of things. But do not expect that right out of the box, you can tune for the top part of 20 meters and have it also work on FT8, which is way down at the bottom. Okay, so there you have it. That's a nice solution for a balcony. I think we ought to make one and see how well that works. Because these things do have some length. As you can see, they are, that's a tall ceiling. That's a 10 foot ceiling or nine foot ceiling. Anyway, these things are, you've got to have a, a sufficiently sized balcony to work this. Remember that by putting it on a balcony you're going to get some radiation bouncing off the side of the house and back out. So it will tend to perform best out away from the house. What you can see through the balcony that antenna is going to be able to see also. So there you have it. If anybody watching would like to join this channel, you can do that. You can get a channel membership on YouTube. But even more important than that to me right now is that you subscribe. Now, subscribe doesn't change anything about how YouTube behaves, except you've added your vote of confidence to my channel, which helps YouTube share it with more people. Also, you could go to patreon.com slash ke0og. And until we next meet, 73.